Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today I'm going to talk about UV lures and I have been mentioning probably for months that I need to talk about why UV lures are important because last year my best performing lure by far was a UV color variation. So if you ever notice like certain lures just tend to outperform others, they may you know be very similar. Uh, sometimes it's even the same brand, like I like the Nico Helgramite, but there are a couple colors that you know, when the fishing's tough, these tend to get it done for me when the other colors maybe won't. One factor that might be at play is whether or not the lure has a UV reflective coating or coloration. So let's talk about UV light first. UV light is not visible to the human eye. In fact, like the UVA and UVB are the things that we're, we wear the sunglasses to try to prevent from getting to our eyes because it's, it's not good for us. If you've ever heard of the phrase Roy G. Biv, R-O-Y, basically to describe the, the, the color spectrum, red is, is the, I can't remember if it's longest or shortest, but red is on one end and then violet is on the other end. And then ultraviolet basically is is to the point where the wavelengths are getting even shorter. We can't see past violet, but species like trout and salmon studies have proven that they can. And as you go deeper into the water, more and more of those colors get filtered out so that they can't be seen and the fish can't see them. So like red hooks and red line, a lot of the times they will disappear once you get down a few feet in the water column because red doesn't penetrate that far. That's why plants grow in shallow water but not in deep water. They need red light and it doesn't get down into the deep water. So with that being said, UV lures are designed to reflect that UV light in a way that, that the fish can see it even better. There's not, I haven't found a ton of really good studies that prove without a doubt that bass and pike and walleye and, and game fish in general can see it. I know trout and salmon can, I've, I've read those studies. But here's what I can say. The Nico Helgramite, two years ago I used the natural color and I had a really good year. Last year I used the, the black aurora, which is, I dropped it. Uh, <laughs> Here it is. So last year I used the Black Aurora, which is a UV color. And, and in just this light, it sort of looks like a translucent gray. Uh, out in sunlight, it looks much more purple. I caught more smallmouth on that. I actually had trout hit that bait, which is amazing to me. Uh, and I also caught walleye on it. And I, I really think that a big part of that was is the way it shows up under under UV lighting conditions. The walleye were definitely deeper when I caught them. So the real question is then, how do you know if you have a UV lure? So I'll tell you that one of the Helgramites, so this one, it actually says it's a UV black aurora. But the other Helgramite uh, that I found that is UV uh, reflective, I, I, I didn't see anything on the packaging. I never remember it being mentioned that it was. But the simple way to tell is if you use a black light, uh, and um, so I don't know we'll, we'll sh shine in a couple of things here if you use a black light flashlight and I think I picked this up for like seven or ten bucks on Amazon and you shine it on your baits it will give you a pretty good idea on whether or not you have a UV, UV bait or not so I'm, I'm gonna work in the shadow over here just to make it a little bit more obvious but here's the this is just a a yoga pants Z-Man Ned Rig. You can see the bait just sort of looks purplish, right? But watch what happens when I throw this Nico Helgramite in there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the difference. This thing just, like, completely lights up. But the thing is, other lures do that too. This is one of my chatterbaits. This is just a, um, a this is just a Z-Man micro chatterbait. Here's, this is a clone of the Ryuki spearhead but and you can do this just right through the the tackle box like watch this which ones are UV you know it's 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 pretty clear to see where the UV ones are Let's see if we can do it this way can you see the UV baits in there so I mean that's just through the lid and as I start going through more of my tackle boxes you know, you can see that some of them have different levels. Let's open this up, 
so you can get a little bit better look. Some of them have different levels of UV, UV reactivity. A lot of them have none, but then sometimes you come across ones that are, it's, I mean, it's, it's very clear. They basically just light up. You know, so as I find a really good one, I'll, I'll show it to the, oh wow. Well, there's a surprise. I think this is a Berkeley hit stick. It's a little tangled up here. Okay, so Berkeley hit stick with the chartreuse back. Look at the chartreuse back. Look at, I mean, look how that thing lights up. It's, it's, it's crazy. Look at this one. See how much that, that lights up? And, I mean, fish should just absolutely kill it. And hey, by the way, I think this is the color that Ish recommended I get. He says it's a killer on smallmouth. Well, that could be why. Jig heads. And actually, it looks like maybe the, the UV or the Nico leeches a little bit too. I have one in there. Some of the jig heads are UV. Man, look at these ones. So if you remember the second trip out to the lake with Ish, the haunted lake, I caught one fish on one bait. Guess what? I didn't realize it at the time. It's a UV lure, right? This is the lure that caught the only fish that day. So when conditions were tough, did this lure make the difference? Was it the UV that, that triggered that bite? It, it very well could be. Woo! Man, look at this. This is a, a freebie frog that I got. Man, this thing just lights up. I, I, I'm not sure top water if the UV makes a difference, but it could be like anything else. This is already bright colored, but to a fish, maybe it just makes it stand out that much more. Uh, a little big for me to throw on most of my, my bait finesse stuff. And just to, if you look into the, the box of the spinner, this little section of spinners that I have here, you can tell that a lot of spinner baits are using UV materials at this point. What if we just look at like soft plastics in general? Because most of them in my experience right now are not into the marketing hype of UV lures. But let's see what's in here. And actually I'm gonna go turn off the, turn off the lights. The, the darker it is, the easier it is for me to tell you know, real quickly which ones are, are UV. But looking into that box, which ones do you think are UV lures? Well, so these methylate worms. You know, why does methylate work so well for some people sometimes? It's because of the UV properties. These are, see we're, now right on this, on the, this one says it's a UV chartreuse. And look, look at the difference. Look how much it glows. It's like glow in the dark basically. Look at these crawls from Nico. They're not listed as UV, but it's definitely a UV material. These little fire worms for trout. I have never used, but I probably should. You can see some of the labels are UV reflective too. Ooh, what's this? These little Z-Man, the, the new Z-Man micro finesse stingers are definitely UV. Because it shows you how easy it is. And then we go back over here to these boxes. When it's in the dark, it's a lot easier to see which ones are potentially UV. So that's why UV lures can be important. And it's not something that's always going to work. I'm not saying only use UV lures, but sometimes when the conditions are tough, or maybe the conditions are just right, the UV lure is going to work a lot more effectively than your traditional lure. And conversely, there are going to be times where probably that UV almost be, might be like a rattle in a bait. It's the complete opposite of, they want, of what they want. And it's the last thing that you want to use. So there, there were also days where I was throwing the UV Helgramite and couldn't get it done, couldn't, couldn't get it done. And I threw on a different color and I got bit. So it, it's just another variable to think about. But it's why UV is important. It's why when you see it, it's something to consider. And the deeper you're going to fish, the more likely UV lures are going to make a difference. But honestly, I caught a ton of smallies in sh shallow water on this. And so I think even in the visible light range, when you can see the lure and it's not really deep, it just lights it up a little bit more. And it just creates that difference between, you know, whether it's between whether it's just a, a regular lure or whether it's, it's, you know, something that looks like it's, it's glowing and is completely lit up. That's UV lures. Grab yourself a UV flashlight or a black flashlight off of Amazon. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll link this down in the description just to make it easier on you. 
but and just go through your lures because I'm I can't wait to go through some of my other stuff. I know a lot of my spinner baits. I was really surprised when I started looking through the crank baits that I have, how many of them actually have UV coatings, even though it's not marketed that way, because it's become somewhat of a norm. But again, it's just something to think about whenever you're picking that next bait, especially if the bite's been tough. Maybe this is the thing that makes the difference and can shine a light on how to catch a few fish. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.